I'm guessing you had that teacher that could not teach you in multiple ways. And now what I'm getting at is that all good teachers should be able to teach you in a hundred different ways. Maybe not a hundred, but if I'm trying to explain how to take cold showers, I shouldn't just be able to explain it in just one way of how just jump right in, just jump right in. You gotta be able to explain it in like, if you jump in, it's gonna be, it's gonna be easier over the long run. You have to be able to reword it, I guess for their understanding. And that's how teachers kind of get defensive when you don't understand. You're like, what? I don't understand that. And they're like, what? How you, you just don't listen. You don't listen. Now, like I said, good teachers can teach in many different ways. Now, obviously it's harder during, like through YouTube because when you're doing it through YouTube, it's like, you don't know the specific person. But I feel like if you're gonna have to teach somebody something, you have to adapt different ways of thinking for them because some people learn better with like visuals some people learn better with just hearing it out i learn better with just straight knowledge just be able to listen through my ears and then just look at them like just look at them talking now before you get mad at somebody because they don't understand what you're saying make sure to like think in their point of view just think you're new to this this is a new topic if you're working or training somebody Cause I've got like yelled at, they're like, oh, how do you not understand this? I've told you this a hundred times. It's like, if you don't commit it to memory, it won't happen. When I was driving, I was driving and with my, I think my dad. And when you drive every single day and they tell you, okay, turn left here, turn right here. You don't commit the streets to memory. You don't know how to get to places. Like I didn't even know how to get to my grandparents' house because they just told me left, right, left, right. And when you're in the car, you don't pay attention. I mean, that, if that's just me, but you do not pay attention to other people when they're driving. So when you get to drive all by yourself, you're like, I don't even know how to get here. I don't know how to get to this place. So I just think... I just think it's funny how you have to commit things to memory. So when you're a teacher, you have to make sure to put it in something that interests them. And I know it's easier said than done. But before when, just remember next time when your teachers get mad at you because you didn't understand this. I don't know, because I'm guessing maybe you're a really smart person. You just understand everything. But if not, just remember that teachers should be able to teach you in many different ways. And really, I'm not saying this for other people. Like, next to my teacher's like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to be able to teach me in different ways. You need to be able to teach other people in different ways. I'm not talking about the other person. I can't control the other person. I can't even control you. But if you can control yourself, start teaching people different ways about, I don't know, anything that has interest in you. If, like in the gym, you have to be able to teach people different ways on their form. I mean, there's only one correct way, but there's a different way to explain it, like for posture and stuff like that. Okay, if you're going to stay on YouTube, click the video on the screen. If not, go watch something else. <laughs> or get outside. Get outside. That's the big thing. Get outside, go to the gym, do something productive.